All right, so for question three, there is two ways to do this. One is just using the chain rule. So I'll show that way first. So the chain rule would um, make this x squared plus x minus one to the power of eight. Um, and we would be taking that with the chain rule and making it eight, because I'm multiplying down by the power, x squared plus x minus one. That's going to be raised to the power of 7. And the chain rule says that we must then multiply by the differential of what's in the bracket, which is 2x plus 1. So when I multiply that out, I'll multiply as much as I can out, which would give me 16x plus 8. And then I'm going to leave this in the bracket as it is. So that's one way in which we can think about our um, differentiation when it comes to brackets. Another way we could think about it is by using u substitution. So what we had was y is equal to um, x squared plus x minus 1 to the power of 8. Now what I could do here is instead of dealing with a bracket, I could say let u equal to x squared plus x minus 1. And in doing that, then I could write y equals u to the power of 8. And I could differentiate y with respect to u. And then I'm going to get 8u to the power of 7. So we're just multiplying down by the power and take one off the power. Now what that allows me to do is um, build on that and get dy dx. Because that's the goal here. So how would I go from having dy du to having dy dx? Well, um, I'm going to need to find some other pieces here. So I have dy du. I'm going to need um, no change to the top, but on the bottom I'm going to need a dx. So what would I have to differentiate with respect to x? Well, if I have u, um, then I'm going to need to get rid of that as well. So I've got du dx is what I need. So this tells me that if I have um, the differential of y with respect to u and I multiply it by du dx, then I should get dy dx. So can I get the differential of u with respect to x? So let's check that out u is equal to x squared plus x minus 1 is what I've said in the first um, instance here and then I'm going to be able to differentiate that with respect to x. So we have du dx then is equal to 2x plus 1. So when you differentiate all of that with respect to x you get 2x plus 1 and then our formula tells us to multiply those two together to get our dy dx. So we're going to have dy dx is equal to dy du, which is 8u to the power of 7, multiplied by du dx, which is 2x plus 1. Now that's not the question finished. What we would need to do here then is replace our u back with what we said it was. So we're going to put back in our x squared plus um, x and it was minus one. So we're going to fill that back in, multiply it by two x plus one. And what we will get again is 16 x, because eight by two is 16 x, eight by one, so plus eight. And that's all multiplied by, sorry, there was a seven there. So we've got x squared plus x minus one to the power of seven.